In this episode, I'm going to be making a power plant for my machines. So stick to the end of the video to find out what happened and make sure to hit like and subscribe. While you're at it, hit the notification bell. Indeed. Usually, in a create mod, the highest form to create power is through the steam engine. And that is why we're using diesel engines. Why are you using diesel engines instead of steam powered engines? Steam engines is usually more easier. Steam engine needs water, heat, and a tank. And steam engine is pretty cheap to make. For the diesel engines, like this one, you need what's called biofuel. In order to get biofuel, biodiesel I mean, in order to get biodiesel, you need plant oil and ethanol. To get plant oil, is it's basically some seeds and a compacting machine. And then for the ethanol, it's bone meal and sugar, potato or tomato or sugar cane. But before we do all that, come close, closer closer too close i want to show you something and it's around this storage request table it's a building it's finished let me give you a tour first when you enter this massive entrance you'll be greeted with a display board that tells what's the contents of this chest basically it's full <laughs> so we have 2k gravel 676 andesite alloys 27 nuggets and one cobblestone why is there cobblestone i don't know if you go through here you can see um, the items are getting transported to their designated machines and through here a little like bridge at the top It's a nice touch like for a machine. This is some sort of delivery bay when a truck enters through here Back through up and then get your items and when you come through here. This is not finished as you can tell I've moved my pressing machine and my mixer right here so it doesn't used up this space which I think it looks pretty good and this is for just aesthetics don't have really our leather to get on and we have lights the main reason why I want to have a separate building for my energy or let's say the combustion part is because of that it's because of that and also this I made this platform next to our factory so that we can make fuel for our diesel engine which is plant oil and ethanol so for the plant oil it's pretty easy you're just gonna need a basin and a mechanical press which is fairly easy just like that and like that you have yourself a plant oil just pop it there and with power this is gonna do its thing but we're gonna automate this first let's make a farm so finished up the machine, this is what it looks like. So let me go down here. Chicago, you know how this works. Connected to a gearbox and gearbox and a vertical gearbox. It's sending power through this gearbox, powering the belt. And also powering this gearbox and this gearbox. Powering this large cogwheel and this small cogwheel which powers our mechanical pump. That's bone meal. Some of these. So it will harvest and replant. To see if we had a successful job of making this. Oh, I forgot to hook up this. Okay, now it's fixed. There we go. It should, yeah. It is working properly. And we're getting plant oil. That's good to see. As you can see, it's a pretty compact system except for the wheat farm because it takes out a lot of space. But I can deal with that later. I'm gonna decorate this whole thing. I'm gonna put a separate building just for this machine. So if you search biodiesel, plant oil, and ethanol, right? For the plant oil, you can use tomato seeds. Yeah, you can use tomato seeds and for the ethanol, we can use potato right here. I mean tomato. Yeah, you can. So I'm just, I'm just gonna convert all of these into tomatoes. So it will be quite a compact system. There we go. And you see. Yes, it will. <laughs> So this is gonna change because we're gonna make this into one conveyor belt which is 
gonna be great. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna work on that design and should be more compact than I thought. So let me give you a tour of what I've done. So you all know the tomato farm, right? The tomato farm produces seeds and tomato. The contents gets delivered to the brass tunnel which is separated. The items, this line of belt will deliver the potatoes to the basin that produces ethanol, I think. Yeah, ethanol. This line of belt is responsible for the seeds, delivering it to the basin and then it crushes it down. The pressing machine crushes the seeds down and thanks to the fluid pipe, it's going through a basin which makes biodiesel. And this line here, I basically went to the nether, get some bone blocks, and then make some bone meal because you have you have no way to automate bone meal as of now. So it doesn't take much bone meal, so it's gonna last it's gonna last a long time, I think. So basically this is the process of the automation process. Good thing we narrowed down the tomato seeds into one. So that's all good. We have biofuel. Okay, I've been thinking, right? That the tomato doesn't actually drop seeds. So the tomato will come out here and then split into two with a brass tunnel and then goes to an andesite belt through a mechanical crafter which I have to make and then goes to the basin which is a, a bit more but I think it's worth it so this is the final 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 design so basically Potatoes will go. Oh, I'm just gonna mind that later. Tomatoes will come from here, and then tomatoes will be belt driven through here to a brass tunnel, which is separated equally. Where is there a seed there? Which gets separated equally to a brass tunnel, and then this line goes to a mechanical crafter that that crafts the potato into potato seeds, and then that. And then the potato seed will go into basin, which is crushed to get seeds. That's basically the process. The same thing goes to here. Nothing has changed over here. Now we know how to make biofuel and we know how to automate it. We're gonna deconstruct the whole thing and build a building around it so it looks nice. And that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back with you guys when I'm finished with the building. Ladies and gentlemen, it's done. First, when you enter the building, you'll be greeted with a display board that tells you how much biofuel it has, how much plant oil and ethanol it has, and the total capacity of the building and available stress in its has. When you enter, you'll be greeted with the fluid tanks which contains the plant oil, the biodiesel, and the ethanol. This is the machine which is responsible for the making of the fuel. This line is responsible for the plant oil production. So potatoes goes here, goes to the mechanical crafter, craft that into seeds, and goes to the basin that turns into plant oil. And this line is responsible for the making of the ethanol. Basically bone meal gets from here, goes to this basin with a lid, and tomatoes get sent in here to make ethanol, as you can see. And then all of that goes to a pipe down below, as you can see. Goes to the respective tanks and goes under and goes through the basin, which makes the biodiesel. And we go up here. This is all the modular diesel engines that we have. It's connected together creating 12,288 stress units. This line of engine, this engine is responsible for the production down below and also the construction down there. Let me show you. As you can see down the building, this is all the potatoes and the piping 
goes together. Basically, it's a complicated system which houses a lot of mechanical pumps and pumps at the same time rooted, so it doesn't it doesn't interfere with one another. If you don't know, pipes interfere if you don't um, right click them with a wrench, and the power goes down here, through there, inside the building. And that is responsible for powering this behemoth of the construction. This is where the fan of the machine and all the wiring goodies of the machine is. This is the mixer and that is the pressing machine. For my needs and in the future, we could upgrade those engines down the line. But for now, it is a lot of power. As you can see, we have 14,400 stress units available to us, which is a lot. Considering we are powering the Endocyte farm and all those machines and also powering the fuel production right here. There's going to be a lot of machines in the future that we're going to build together. So there's that. And I think that's all the time that we have for today. I hope you had a lot of fun watching us create this, this monster of a factory that we have right here. And... I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something in the process and and make sure to hit subscribe and like down below hit the notification bell down below and comment what you think and also that I mentioned hit that notification bell down below. ding ding yeah and that's me chili signing off thank you guys for watching